All right, here we are in our second match. Um, I do like this hand, even though it doesn't have a threat, so we'll go ahead and keep it. We'll Evolving Wild fetch a Swamp. And then we have three pretty live pieces of removal. Uh, let's play Evolving Wilds. And we'll pass the turn. Brings it brings a uh, oh man <laughs> maybe this isn't the best brings a tear to my cold dead heart thank you Sea Weaver uh still like the plan of fetching a swamp here though because it turns on our hand and of course I draw a counter spell no biggie. We'll either kill uh, the first threat our opponent has, or we will cast Accumulated Knowledge. I wonder if this is the mirror. That'd be, that'd be sweet. Uh, accumulated Knowledge, extremely weird in the mirror, because you draw cards equal to the number of cards called Accumulated Knowledge. Uh, I don't want to play this Ash Barrens. I want to cycle it for an island. Now my counter spell is live. Still looking for threats though, and we're not actually we're secretly not a control deck, right? We're secretly um an, like an aggro deck, so I would like to draw a threat. Come on, AK. There's Augur. Augur's good. Augur can attack my opponent. Countering my Augur. Since I have three counters, is it worth it to counter back? What can my opponent possibly do next turn? Since I have three counters, I'm willing to counter... Three counters and lots of removal, I'm willing to counter back here. Let's take the Thought Scour. I think the Thought Scour is stronger when I don't have the, um, uh, the fetch, the, the fetch, the cycle, whatever. Opponent has their own auger, sure. I think this, I'm not playing Lonely Sandbar, but I think this is, might be a mirror. Yeah, they have Probe, Probe and Mortuary Mire. Mortuary Mire are not the scariest. Uh, let's ponder. We'll take that Delver. So we want to top Brainstorm, top Grim, top Delver. Oh, yeah. And then the Brainstorm I can combo with this. So no, we won't shuffle. We'll run out Delver. This does put us uh, a little behind on uh, the counter spell, but it was worth it. I don't think there's a reason to use a removal spell on this auger. On old, old Augie. Doomblading my Delver, sure. At the end of my opponent's turn, if they have no other play, I might do it just so I can start getting in some damage. And we get back the Grim Harvest. Because I'm a bad magic player, I don't remember the card I left on top. <laughs> I'm the worst. It was Brainstorm. So yeah, I'm going to be able to Brainstorm and then get rid of two of the cards I don't want. So worth it to not fire this off quite yet. My opponent is maybe also thinking about killing my auger here, which I think I'm okay with. Yeah, I would care more, like none of these cards that my opponent has played hit my Gurmog Angler. So that's pretty, pretty strong. And, you know, it's just, it's fueling my ghastly demise, which is now, you know, huge. I wonder, no, I don't think the Grim Harvest is, like, the Grim Harvest is not, is not worth it here. But then I'm not using my mana. 
So I could Grim Harvest the Augur back to my hand, is what I'm thinking. Huh. Is that the line? I could Grim Harvest the Delve. If this is a. Uh, is this probed? Is this kicked? No. Okay, I don't care about it then. I do kind of want to Grim Harvest back my Delver. Because then I'll have Grim Harvest live. They discarded Forbidden Alchemy, Disfigure. Yeah, if I Grim Harvest now, I can Grim Harvest the Delver. And then I can play the Delver and then have Grim Harvest in the yard so my opponent can't really interact with it that well. And then we draw the Brainstorm. It's like worst case scenario. Yeah, I'm not, well, I'm not, I could Brainstorm on my upkeep. Which is probably what's going to happen. Exit battle net real fast. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to save my counters for actual threats for my opponent. Yeah, they're definitely on the alchemy build, and I am on the... Uh, let me put a stop in my upkeep. I'm on the, the Delver build. I almost played the alchemy version. This looks like a Gurmog Angler, which we are pretty well equipped to beat because we have the counter spell. Then in my upkeep, let's storm the brains. We'll put back uh, G. Um, I guess Days Thought Scour. I oh, know Echoing Decay Thought Scour because the Days might actually come in handy. We'll draw the Thought Scour. Now we can start getting in with Delver. And we can cast the days, and we can thought scour into turn, and we have the grim harvest and the counter spell up. So yeah, just giving us the most available options. There's probably no reason to ever tap out for this uh, grim har, you know, since we can get the grim harvest back. There's probably no reason not to tap out under three unless my opponent plays a threat. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to counter. We have a daze if my opponent counters back. Dazing the angler instead of the uh, counter spell, just to make sure I hit the right spell. So not that thought scouring. We end up drawing the Echoing Decay, which I didn't want. My opponent might be playing Delver, though, or Mole Drifter or something. Uh, probably worth it to go ahead and thought scour main phase to hit try and hit a land drop. I have anglers in my deck, too, somewhere. Put us four cards in hand. We have five, right? Yeah, we have five. But I mean, yeah, this is gonna be Mole Drifter, and I don't have an answer to Mole Drifter. I'm just gonna try and disfigure it in a turn. No, I'm gonna disfigure it on my turn, and I'm doing that to play around, uh, being able to use the. Uh... Actually, no, it doesn't matter when I disfigure it. If I disfigure it on my turn then I don't have access to the Swamp anymore. So I might as well do it now. And then if my opponent kills my Delver in response, that's unfortunate, but I, I couldn't have gotten back the Grim Harvest anyway. Yeah, that's what I figured. Um, Sure. 
Should I thought scour in response? Yeah, I'll do. I'll use one. I really need to hit Grimok. <laughs> there we go. So nope, don't have access to that. Uh, wouldn't have had access to that anyway. So that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess we should go ahead and thought scour one more time. Yeah, thought scour way two lands. Sweet. Sure, Augur. Chainer's Edict, wow. We're getting schooled. Fortunately, I think our sideboard's pretty good. My opponent's one land away from flashing back Chainer's. Oh uh, yeah, let's, let's AK. Uh, I did that wrong. I should have <laughs> brainstormed first. Whatever. Uh, let's put back mental note and echoing decay. I've already played a land. Wow, I'm really not. I'm not so great at this. I guess we'll just hope that they do not have. I just, it doesn't really matter. We'll hope they don't have the uh, the uh, last land here. All right, and they don't, so that's good. Mall Drifter. Oh. Uh, discarding these three. I want my Deprive. Well, I think I, I think I still wanted that, but uh, definitely feel free to chastise me in the comments. I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm clearly not reading the cards. But I do have a Gurmog Angler, and I still have two more left in my deck. I still have another accumulated knowledge left. Um, well, there's Echoing Decay. Uh, I guess let's go ahead and attack. Yep, definitely not playing this uh, optimally, so I do I do apologize. Um, I'm hoping my opponent will tap out here to play this Chainer's Edict, and I'll just counter it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so they can't even really hold up a uh, counter spell here to counter my counter. I, I'm already thinking about what I'm going to be bringing in. I got some good stuff. The Nile Spell Bomb, the uh, couple copies of the Edict guy, or the the undying creature the gray ogre with flying and undying if this is dispel I'm pretty hosed Well, I have an Echoing Decay for that Grimog Angler, so that's pretty pretty good. Because I am going to attack here. Mental Note, not terrible. Let's go ahead and do it. Gush? All right. Ah, sure. Delver, Delver. Could be what I need to win here. I'm gonna attack, and if you if my opponent blocks, I will echoing decay that guy. Oh no, that does it to mine too. Oh, <laughs> I'm so bad. 
That was good. No, it sure didn't. Wow. <laughs> I'm the worst. Everyone at home screaming about it, no doubt. All right, well that's just game. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and see. Yeah, wow. Uh, I so I don't, I don't know if we were winning anyway. Um, but that was a pretty sloppy game, so I do apologize for that. Uh, I know exactly what I'm bringing in. Yeah, wow. Uh, taking out the days. No, days was actually all right. It was decent on the, it's decent on the play. Uh, maybe we don't really need the dispels because my opponent's removal is mostly, uh, sorcery based. No, they have Doomblade and stuff. Uh, Nile Spell Bomb, I think, is fine. Ghastly Demise seemed pretty poor. Disfigured did not, Echoing Decay did not seem to be very great. <laughs> yeah, wow, they missed the punts. Oh, people at home aren't judging me too hard over that. Uh, hmm. Maybe we can afford to cut one Thought Scour. No, in that case, I'll cut one Mental Note. Yeah, sure, let's try this. Yeah, well. RTFC, noob. RTFC. Uh, yes, I'll play first. Uh, wow keepable because we have we don't even have turn one delver we have turned two delver it's bad i'm gonna mulligan i mean i don't know if this is much better we'll keep we'll keep the brainstorm i guess so we have the fetch sure should we have up turn one days yeah i'm pretty embarrassed pretty embarrassed y'all Let's play the land, and I guess we can brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. Just try and find find a threat here. Probably shuffle away like Agony Warp. Something else. Probably shuffle away. Disfigure brainstorm. I don't really need another brainstorm right now. And fetch an island. Or a swamp. I think I want the island because I want this counter spell. Yeah, we draw a swamp anyway. Sweet. Yeah, let's play swamp. Pass the turn. If it does nothing, we'll AK at the end of their turn. Cycling Lonely Sandbar probably has enough mana in hand then. I'm, I've, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, let's AK. Uh, I, we could ponder and then cycle. We don't like what we get. I do like Stormbound Geist. So let's... Put on top, put on top, put on top. We are not able to play it this turn. I do want to make a land drop, so I think I am actually going to cycle this Ash Barrens and grab an island. So feeling a little bit better this game. Just just having the addition of Stormbound Geist in the deck, because I'll be able to counter whatever my opponent does next turn. Yeah, I don't really care about Forbidden Alchemy. I could have dazed that actually. But I just I just don't think it's that big a deal. They Fortune doesn't show you what they took. Maybe I don't know. I didn't I actually didn't want my opponent to draw these cards, so probably fine. I would like to daze something here. It, I like to counter daze. 
I don't know. I'm getting greedy. Yeah, Stormbound Geist uh, will be a very good counter target. And I'll be able to play my own, hopefully. And a uh, AK. Double Days is not bad. Um, let's see. If I play out the Stormbound, my opponent probably has a counter spell up. And I have two dazes, so I wouldn't be able to do everything I want to do. It might be better to just play Augur here. See what happens. Not try and get any of my real threats hit, and then try and resolve them next turn when I after I counter my opponent's stuff. Let's do that. I like that plan. Plus we get a Thought Scour. Edict. Not bad. Uh, makes me glad I didn't run out something else. Well, would have been bad against the Stormbound Geist. But I do want to try and get my opponent here when they go to play this. Let's see, they'll go 1, 2, 3. Yeah, they won't have a Counterspell. And then I can play my Stormbound Geist and my Delver and leave up Double Days. Oh, well, I'm dazing that. Leaving in Days maybe not the best, but being on the play certainly seems good. Draw another Counterspell. Good. In case they're playing Days, we'll play that first. We'll play that second. Oh, well, wow. The Daze is actually coming in very handy this game. So let's put a stop on my upkeep. So if I don't like what Delver flips, I can Thought Scour. Uh, no, let's Thought Scour it away. That's pretty good. Being able to just commit to the board here. I have another probe. I'll discard Island Agony Warp. Seven cars, eh? But I don't... Yeah, they're going to have to expense more resources to get rid of these guys. That's... I mean, that's pretty good for me. And the next time I'll be able to leave up Counterspell. One, two... One, two, three, four, five, six. So they're one away. Let's ponder. Hmm, I do like all these cards. Uh, let's put... Counterspell on top. Let's put Ash Barons on top. Let's put Brainstorm on top. No. Let's Brainstorm. Let's put back Swamp Warp. Let's play the Island and we'll leave up Ash Barons Counterspell. And we'll then we'll, and we'll shuffle. Trying to find a Grimog Angler. Well, poop. I have to counter that. Use another black source here. We draw the Agony Warp. Whatever. Maybe we can use it to kill a blocker. 
my opponent's on a three turn clock, which I wish was much faster. But they only have two cards in hand. We only have two cards in hand. But they have not actually flashed back this Chainer's Edict yet. Muldrifter. I have to counter Muldrifter, right? Yeah, I can't let my opponent draw more cards. Even though they'll be able to Chainer's Edict me next turn. Brainstorm. All right. Roll the dice. All right, so putting back Agony Warp Mental Note. Playing Augur. Good draw. Getting the Mental Note. Casting Mental Note. Casting Delver. All right, that was a pretty good turn. Now my opponent uh, is on a much quicker clock, especially if this Delver flips. Man, the blue-black mirror. I am obviously like also not super duper skilled with the deck. Um, soul manipulation. Yeah, that's good. Being able to cast Stormbound Geist. Now, I cannot get in with my Stormbound guys, but I can still get in with my ground guys. And they're going to play a Grandma Gangler, it looks like. See, so I'm going to have my work cut out for me. What is it? Ooh, Gush. Yeah, I want to draw Gush. Uh, let's Gush. Disfigure, sure. Thought Scour. I guess let's Thought Scour. AK. Ooh, another counter spell. Okay, so how do I want to play this? I think I just attack with Stormbound Guys. They block with their Stormbound Guys, and I'm able to disfigure it. And block with my Delver, maybe. And I think as long as we're here, I should go ahead and do this on the off chance I draw Gurmog Angler. No, but I did draw another Delver, which I don't want to play because I want to be able to counter something. So, because my opponent only can play one, only has you know, one card in hand and one relevant card in the graveyard. And yeah, I'll counterspell that. I want all my creatures right now. So wheat. So yeah, let's attack with both of these guys. Disfigure. Angler, doesn't matter what. Three, two, three minutes behind my opponent, so I should start playing a little faster. Ten minutes should still be more than enough to play our last game, though. All right, we got game two. So, uh, despite all the punts, I <laughs> still got there. Thank you, everybody who's still watching. Um, hmm. So my opponent's deck seems to be primarily Augur, Abolus, Muldrifter, and Gurmog Angler. So Ghastly Demise is still bad. Because resolving Mold Drifter and then Ghastly Demising it is not good. Uh, this figure is good enough for that. <sighs> yeah, I guess we just run it back. And I mean, they did bring in the Stormbound Geist, but my best counter to that is the Nile Spell Bomb. <sighs> Any consideration for the Dispel? I think on the draw, the Dispels are better. And my, now my opponent has had two games where they didn't play around days, so maybe now they they will. So yeah, ten and a half minutes more than enough to finish finish the match. 
with a decisive winner, not just with whoever can draw. Oh, man. I draw the Nile Spell Bomb, but I have no other land. I have to mulligan. All right, this hand's good. Uh, sure, Delver up to the top. If Delver survives, it's really good, so... Plus, I have the pseudo... Pseudo, uh, scry. If I don't like the card on top. But yeah, my opponent probably just has Edict here. I mean, you still run out the Delver, right? Okay, they have Augur. I was like, okay. Well, I think you still, no matter what, you run out the Delver. I think it's just... Oh, they could hit this figure. Poop. Come on, be just be like dispel. Actually, do you want another Ash Barons? Yeah, I want another Ash Barons. That's fine. Now I can double cycle them. Or I can cycle one, get an island, be able to play the Stormbound Geist if my opponent taps out. Definitely cycling one of them. They're electing to Doomblade my Delver instead of disfiguring it, knowing that I also play Days. But I guess that's just the way it, things happen. Oh, I guess it is more mana efficient. I still think you want to disfigure the, the Delver because disfigure really only hits Delver in my deck. Cycle this for an island. Uh, should I cycle the other one? No, just in case I drop Brainstorm, probably. All right, I don't need that anymore. Oh, another Stormbound Geist. That is good. Let's play the first one. This figure is actually pretty good against my opponent's Stormbound Geist as well. So now maybe I should have cycled the other Ash Barons, because now I kind of want to another, make another land drop, and it looks like I'm not going to. Yeah, they have their own Stormbound Geist. Okay, no, no big deal. I have the Disfigure, so I like my, my chances. Can't block the Augur, though. But yeah, I have the other Stormbound, and I have the Disfigure, so I like where I am. Ooh, and we get to make, we get to make our land drop also. Sweet. So let's go ahead and make it first. And then I guess we'll play Stormbound Geist using our blue mana. Leave up Disfigure. We'll attack with this one. Probably a better way to play this would have been to do this afterward. But yeah, my opponent blocks, sure. But now I can block and disfigure. My opponent is playing Mortuary Mire. Consideration, small consideration. Mold Drifter? That'd be pretty bad for me. Probe kicked. Yeah, sure. Probe is pretty good. I'm going to discard Accumulated Knowledge and Ash Barons. And hopefully I can get there on the backs of these Stormbound Geists. So I imagine my opponent will attack me here. And if not, fine. I'll get him for 3 damage next turn. Probing discard probe. Okay, I put it not attacking. Fine with me. Still gonna get in for three next turn. And now I think I'm winning the race, although I do not have cards in my hand. Thought scour, pretty good draw. Um let's yeah, let's sure. Let's see see what I get. Spin the wheel. Oh, accumulated knowledge. Sweet. Yeah, I have the disfigure. Come on. I think we should go into an AK main phase. In case I draw a gush. I don't think I've made a ledger up yet. Yeah, 
Yeah, now my hand's pretty good. Mental note, then in my opponent's turn. Have Brainstorm for next turn. No, I'll probably be Brainstorm Mental Note. Try and get rid of the cards I don't want. Thorn of the Black Rose. My opponent will become the Monarch, and then I will become the Monarch, and then my opponent will become the Monarch, and then I will become the Monarch, is how this is going to play out. So yeah, I think it's correct to go ahead and Brainstorm at the end of my opponent's turn. And we'll put back Island Island, so we'll draw an island. Now we'll put back, yeah, we'll put back Island Island, we'll draw an island, we'll shuffle uh, with the Evolving Wilds, and then we'll Mental Note. Oh no, I shouldn't have done that, I should have played the island. Oh well, I need another island anyway. So this is going to definitely be a game of uh, tag. My opponent tries to kill one of the Stormbound guys. I do have the Dispel. But I have no way of defending my Monarchy. Yeah, I think I want to keep up the Counterspell and the Mental Note. I think I want to keep up the Counterspell. And this is going to get Dispelled, whatever this is. Uh, worth it to trade the Dispel for the that, I think. Uh, that way, I don't, you know... They can't do something goofy next turn, like Crypt Rats, kill all my stuff. Small Drifter, sure. My opponent does have a lot of card advantage. I am further ahead in cards, though. I really hope that they do not have Dermog Angler. That would be pretty bad. Just a middle note. Into accumulated knowledge. Sure. There we go. Um, let's play out our island. You know what? Let's accumulate a knowledge first. No, I don't want to do that. Who, who don't want to do that? Delver, Delver, sure. Um, I do want to be able to block that. But probably just better to pressure my opponent's life total at the moment. Two can play that game. Well, this is definitely going to get countered. I want to keep around my Stormbound Geist. And now let's eat up the graveyard. Why is my Nile spell bomb? And now I could eat this auger. Yeah, it's not easy when your opponent is able to take being the monarch from you. I don't know if that was correct to sideboard in against me. Like, sure, Thorn of the Black Rose is a fine card, but now my opponent has to choose between attacking me with both to reclaim the Monarch power or, um, and, and losing the Augur in the process, and then I just take back the Monarch again, or they can't attack me at all anymore, and I'm just the Monarch for the rest of the game. All right, they have, they have an Evan cards in the graveyard. Not that that matters too much on this board. Yeah, the Monarch is gonna, I think, is gonna end up being what wins me this game. 
My opponent has their own Gurmog Angler, but I just have I have the air power now. They have an Edict. I will be sacrificing not the Angler, but perhaps one of these. Okay, Mortuary Mire on the Muldrifter on the Stormbound Geist. On the Stormbound Geist. Okay, so I have one more good hit in with these Stormbound Geists. Okay, well I am going to eat up. I, I'm just I'm gonna kill this auger. That's fine. If they have a uh, the morbid eat a thing, that'd be pretty bad. Uh, we have another Gurmog angler. Um, I think we'll leave off of the brainstorm. I'll put back uh, island ash barons. No. We'll put back evolving wilds island. Huh. This is actually tough. Because I do want to have four blue mana available this turn, and I cannot lose my black mana. Uh, I actually am going to put these two back, and then I'm going to draw the Ash Barons and then cycle the other one away. Not accumulated knowledge. Not attacking here. I can agony warp. Oh, I can't agony warp actually. Oh, and I'm not. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to top deck anything with these delvers. That's fine. Oh well, yeah. I'll be drawing the ash barons now. I can cycle the ash barons if my opponent does not present something I want to counter, and I know that they are so. Getting a little low on time. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and have to deprive this and hope it works out. I honestly don't think it matters. Because I have the, the Agony Warp. So I have the removal spell. If they have another Grimog Angler. That'd be pretty sick. So yeah, now I can't even really attack. See, on my upkeep, I'm going to cycle this Ash Barons. I mean, yeah, I'm just going to take it. I'm going to take it. I don't have to attack with everything and hope it's good enough. Let's get Swamp. Maybe Delver will flip. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, I didn't see that. Oh, well. All right, cool. Counterspell. But I want... Yeah, I need the other island. All right, we got a counter for whatever our opponent has this turn. And I think we're going to I think we maybe can pull ahead here. Pyrdane, sure. Uh we would have won uh if I had seen that this had not been I I thought that this was the swamp when it said revealed. Um so we could have won right there if I had, you know, read that correctly, but I didn't. So uh Augur, I think, is fine because I can still win in the air here. My opponent cannot attack me with Stormbound Geist. And I have the counterspell for anything. So. 
It's looking pretty good. Long match, though. Going into the red always is. Feeling pretty safe behind this counter spell. Yeah, I'm going to counter that. All right, with that, my opponent packs it in. Sweet. See everyone in match three.